Aloha friends! So, as per usual, before I get to the word, if you can please like this video, subscribe to my channel, that would be great. So we can share, share, share the word, that would be awesome. Let's get to the word. So the Lord has really been speaking to me about what is real. And can I just tell you, God is real. His reality is more real than the craziness going on right now. But we will get to that. So Webster's 1828, real is actually being or existing, not fictitious or imaginary, as a description of real life, true, genuine, not artificial, not affected, not assumed. In law, it's pertaining to things fixed, permanent or immovable, as to lands or tenements. I can't really think of anything more permanent or immovable than God. <laughs> so God is real. His reality is more real than the things we can see with our natural senses. And when I was thinking about what is real and asking the Lord about what is real, we need like evidence of what is real, right? So Cassie, what's the evidence for what is real? I'm so glad you asked. Hebrews 11.1 1 says that it's faith. <laughs> and it's so it's so difficult to wrap our tiny minds, well, my tiny mind, I'm, it's difficult for me to wrap my tiny mind around God's reality being more real than what I can see. And my faith is not built on nothing. It's built on the word. It's built on my relationship with Jesus. It's built on what I have already seen the Lord do. So how does God's reality become real to us? Number one, I would encourage you, seek it out on your own. Seek out what is real according to God on your own. I promise you, when you seek out God, he will reveal himself to you. Disclaimer, when you seek out God, he will reveal himself to you. So just be ready. Just be ready. So I'm going to read from Matthew 6, verses 9 and 10. This is from the Amplified probably heard this before it's the lord's prayer jesus said pray then in this way our father who is in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come this is a plea for god's kingdom to be inaugurated on earth your will be done including what god wishes to be done by the individual believer his commands his precepts on earth as it is in heaven we don't have to wait for god's reality to come in eternity it's here now the kingdom of God is here now. It lives on the inside of us. It's the church. It's bringing people into a personal relationship with Jesus. It's doing things God's way. It's having faith in him, trusting in him, relying on him, obeying God. I mean, that's how we show him that we love him, right? First John 5, 3. And I also want to read from Hebrews 12, verses 26 to 29. This this passage always encourages me. This is also from the Amplified. It says, His voice shook the earth at Mount Sinai, God's voice. Then, but all, but now, he has given a promise, saying, Yet once more, I will shake not only the earth, but also the starry heaven. This is from Haggai 2.6. Now, this expression, yet once more, indicates the removal and final transformation of all those things which can be shaken, that is, of that which has been created. So all this stuff that we can see in front of us, this is all stuff that's shakeable. So that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. That's God things, God's reality. Therefore, since we receive a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us show gratitude and offer to God pleasing service and acceptable worship with reverence and awe for our God indeed is a consuming fire. So again, I would encourage you Seek this out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Please don't take my word for it. Seek it out for yourself. But when you seek out God, he will reveal himself to you. He will reveal what is real. And sometimes it's scary, the things that are real. All the promises that God is giving and things start to become more real. It's a little bit scary because we have to up our level of faith, our level of trust in God. But it's totally, totally worth it. So find out for yourself. Love you with a Jesus love.